Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hey, this is Heisen. Um, so I just want to talk about the uh, the new system that I got coming up, and um, everybody know. I mean, I love I love DWC. I always have. Um, it's just, I mean, I love it. It's my baby. This is this is me. This is all me right here. I love growing in these buckets. So, um, I've been at this shit for a while, and some of the things that um. I had issues with in the past was when I used air stones, the, uh, the buckets would fill up so deep with roots that the air stones no longer really worked because you have to have air bubbles have to break the surface in order to get oxygen in the water. And that just doesn't happen once the buckets completely fill up with roots. So I noticed my last run that my 450 pump was fucked up is what I normally use. So I ended up using the 800. With the 800 pump, I was putting on the return line so much dissolved oxygen in here that I feel like that's what was keeping the system alive. When I usually run these smaller buckets, like the four bucket, the three bucket, I mean, even up to the six, never had issues before. You start getting into 12 buckets, 10 buckets, 12 buckets. I think with the bigger systems, you have to have a lot more dissolved oxygen, even with all that even with all the air stones in there, you know, when your system first starts off, you have so much dissolved oxygen. And then when you're, you know, when you flip it, you got so much roots in the buckets. I think that's what causes a lot of people problems. So this is my new design. It's basically the same undercurrent system that I did. I just broke it down into four buckets to fit inside this tent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an 1100 gallon per hour pump on that pipe and then return. That's going to come back to this epi bucket. And I'm going to put a split in here, T, where it's like putting a lot of dissolved oxygen in this bucket. And that's going to be getting sucked through to the plants. Well, there's another problem. If you, if you suck the water too fast, then you're going to have stagnant water around your root zone. Because now remember, we're trying to eliminate the air stones. So what I'm going to do to counteract that problem is I'm gonna put a 550 gallon per hour pump in this bucket in line, or not in line, but um, submersible. And then I'm gonna run that out, and it's actually gonna pump water back to those buckets. So it's gonna be like going both ways. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna be filling up those buckets with the dissolved oxygen that's created in this epi bucket. Um, and the big pipes, the, the two and a half inch pipes there will keep this from overflowing because if you have too much water coming in here or not enough, you're, you're gonna have unlevel water and shit and you're gonna end up with water all over the floor. You're gonna have all kinds of problems. So that's where I'm at with that, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna 1100 gallon per hour in here to create the dissolved oxygen zone. So I could check the pH and add my nutrients and stuff in th through this. And then I'll have a pump inside of here, pumping water out. And then I'm going to have it running on each pump of water into each individual. So the water that's hitting, the water that's coming down inside of each of these buckets will also be adding dissolved oxygen. I'm going to do this without a water chiller. With nothing. I'm going to run it. I think I can create enough dissolved oxygen to not have to use anything. HydroGuard. UC roots, any of that shit. Now, if I start having issues or seeing issues, of course, I'll correct it. That's where I'm at with this. And I'm actually building a cob, LED cob setup to go in here. It's going to be nine cobs. I'm going to run um, 2,100 drivers, 2.1 amps. So it'll be 2,100 milliamps. And the cobs are rated at 37.6 volts, forward voltage on the cobs. So that's multiply that by 2.1. And I'll be getting about 67 watts per cob. They'll be dimmable, of course. So 67 times 9 is about 750 watts total for this 4x4. With the DWC, and I'm going to run it and see how, see how it goes. But I'm going to document everything. I got a bunch of parts that's going to be here Friday. We'll put all this shit together. Um, after this is done, I'm actually going to grow one big-ass bucket. I'm going to put a tote, one big bucket with a big ass epi bucket with like, it's gonna be nuts. And I'm gonna grow one plant in a four by four with those cobs and stuff this motherfucker. I'll probably have shit like up to here. It's just gonna be crazy. So that's gonna be one plant. I got a YouTube competition or a competition I'm doing with this guy. 
Um, he's an idiot, but anyway, um, I got one plant grow off with this dude. So I'm just going to grow them in DWC underneath the same cop set up in a 4x4. I personally hate tents. I don't like them. But, you know, they all have their purpose, and I don't have anything against people that grow on them. I guess if, you know, if you have it. And it's funny because I, uh, I go on Amazon and start looking up tents and shit, and they all talk about, oh, man, I got light leaks. No fucking tents a piece of shit. And then I have another person, you know, that I'll, that I'll see make a comment. Man, I don't like autoflower. What's the purpose of autoflower? That's the fucking purpose of autoflower. Autoflowers, you ain't got to have no light cycle, man. You know what I'm saying? You can leave your tent open like this in your house. You don't even got to have sides or a front. No, no need for fans, air circulation, none of that bullshit. You can take a tent just like this, put four pots or four buckets and grow four autoflowers with a light and just have a fan blowing through that bitch and you don't have, never have to worry about them. You ain't got to worry about no light leaks or nothing. So, that's a whole other subject. You know, me designing and building an autoflower strain from scratch is what I'm actually working on now. Um, that's a whole other thing. But, anyway. Okay. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh I'm going to upload this video now just so you guys can see. But this that's what I'm working on. So I got the parts coming Friday. I had to go out here and get the pots and the net and the, all the shit. And it's, it's a it's work in progress. I had to modify this shit. I still got to cut that end off so I can put a one-inch tube over that. Because the the 1,100-gallon-per-hour pumps, they have a three uh, one-inch fitting. And that's set up for three-quarters. So I'm having to modify this shit a little bit. Um... But once I get it all up and running, man, I'm going to take videos and explain everything. And I really have, I really think it's going to work good, you know, a lot better than some of the other stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching.